Oh, we saw you in the trailer. Hello. I believe this is yours. Yes, it is. Hi, dolls. Welcome back. And if you are new, hello, my name is Jessie. And today we're going to react to season three, episode three of Bridgerton Forces of Nature. We just finished episode two. I got up, went to the bathroom, came back, and we were watching episode three. I am on a mission. I want to find out who this person is that is going to visit Lady Danbury. I want to know if Remington is going to want to see Penelope after the uh, exciting news in Whistledown. Is Eloise going to reach out to Penelope? Are the Featheringtons enjoying themselves? Let's jump in and find out before we do. Oh, don't forget to throw a like up, but it's like if you do, do not like what you see, but comment down below. Let me know why. Subscribe if you haven't. Yeah, we do fun things here. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is $5 a month. It's only $1.25 a week. It is all of my unedited reactions of everything that I do on YouTube. And it's just more. Don't forget to follow us on all social media at star underscore chef underscore productions or at Jesse Dobby for Twitter. Link is in the description below for the Red Bubble and T public pages where you can find awesome merch that my brother Ray created for the reactions that Jay and I do. We are doing a ton of shows over on Patreon that are Patreon exclusive exclusive requests. We're doing Heartbreak High. We're about to start the second season of From. We're doing so many things, so go check it out. But without further ado, this is Season 3, Episode 3 of Bridgerton, Forces of Nature. And obviously these are all fully unedited over there. You know, I keep seeing all these jokes. There's pollen in the air. There's pollen in the air. My allergies are literally killing me. <laughs> They're gonna get me before this show does. Steamy kiss. A steamy, steamy kiss. Look, she's on, she's steaming. He is too, more so. Oh. I apologize for the late hour, but I have to see you immediately. Dream. I can barely speak. But it's whose dream? My entire thoughts consume. Colin's dream. It's a little stalkery, Colin. What are you doing? We cannot continue our lessons. Uh, I agree. <laughs> Good. Hmm. Uh, just so I'm clear, what is your reasoning? Exactly. I apologize for asking. I do not apologize. Have you apologized? Yes, but I, yes. Well, I, I wish very much for your happiness. If I secure a proposal, it will be because of you. Did you leave your balls in Italy? Tell her you like her. The hell's your problem, Colin? He's so used to having every- Oh, hello, Wembley. De Debley, Debley. Turn out to be the most eligible lord. So used to having all these women swoon over him. Doing. Apparently, he only eats vegetables. So Weirdo. Marry this season, quite clear. This is giving me poodle Married vibes. If you do not find a husband soon, your father and I will be forced to find one for you. Ooh. Are you enjoying the evening, my lord? More than they are, to be sure. I would certainly rather be predator than prey. You not have to marry whoever the queen selects for you. You must simply follow your heart. I love Mama Bridgerton. I am inclined to think he shall be the best suitor for me. Because it is easier? Because I trust the Queen. Miss Francesca, how delightful What is going on with her? I am Lord Catbill. I can't put my finger on it. She says she wants to marry. She seems like she wants to marry. She did say she just kind of wants to get it over with, so that's probably where that Violet comment came from, like, because it's easier. I don't know. She doesn't seem... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't read her. In search of a new prospect to help you find a husband. Oh, f*** off, head. Good luck. You were really, like, the creme de la creme over there. Ooh, red this and gold. Ladies, he's only visiting. I was not aware. Why are you not so keen on this? Oh no, why didn't she want him to, why, why don't you like your brother? What's wrong with your brother? I mean, you did bang Violet's dad. I kind of got to give her a free pass to your brother. What's the matter, sweetheart? Talk to us. Forgive me, I was simply- In need of some quiet. Oh, okay. I've been in search of it all night. Oh, okay. She's like, woo, finally, someone who doesn't want to talk. This is my kind of person. She smiled. It's the first time she smiled. Please excuse me. No, where are you going? <laughs> Francesca, that was perfect. You could have just stood there and looked at the fire. You and your brother were amongst the heroes of the day. I don't know if I trust her. She seems sketchy. I was Lady Tilly Arnold. I was married. To who? Oh. Does I... it matter? How did you and father know it was reciprocated? Oh. Asking because mom he gathered for the advice. courage to ask. You gonna put it together? Uh, well. Violet's no dummy. She knows. He asked her out. Finally, free from your admirers. There is a question. Oh, uh, Debbie already asked. To ask it. I was feathering. Spit it out, Colin. Mr. Bridgerton. Instinct has led this man of nature to the most surprising pick of the season. Love this song. I 
I never thought I'd headbang to this kind of music. Oh, man. All right, there you have it. Episode three, Forces of Nature. Oh, man, he figured it out too late. We open up with the dream. It is Colin's dream. He cannot get Penelope out of his head. And he is trying to kind of throughout the whole episode figure out what this means, what he's feeling, and come to terms with his emotions. He has a wonderful conversation with Mama Violet. And uh, it's too late. It is too late. Debbie Pooh already asked her and picked her and gave him her his card. So we have a problem now because Colin is head over heels in love with Penelope. And we know that Penelope really, really likes Colin and is in love with him. But it's, it's, yeah, it is what it is now. Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I kind of felt bad for Cressida. Dude, you said you were going to bring her a lemonade, and then you just never came back. So messed up. Uh, but I think they were also showing that, you know, Cressida and him have some things in common. They both have issues with their families. They both have issues with their families. <laughs> But they seem to have been enjoying each other's company regardless of, you know, how much they actually have in common. So, uh, hopefully what happens is that they will just realize that they're not right for each other and, uh, maybe we can explore things with Colin, but we only have one episode left and I don't know what's gonna happen. This is crazy. We have a really interesting moment with Francesca where she's like, you know, I trust the queen. Queen's gonna set me up. This is perfect. This is, you know, I'll be done looking for somebody and it'll be over with and then she kind of bails and she freaks out she she is really interesting in her reactions too she's very composed when she walks away and runs away but you could see she doesn't want to be there but she does meet somebody outside now we don't know who this is I don't think we got a name but he's like you know I, I was looking for quiet myself we could just stand here in quiet and peace and they do he doesn't persist he doesn't annoy her and she f smiles for what seems to be the first time a genuine happy smile and then she walks away freaking Francesca she then walks away but she, before giving a double take look. So I'm curious to explore things with that person. Um, I just want happiness for Francesca. I feel like she's trying to go with the flow of things. She's trying to be a good sport. Um, so yeah, I, I, I hope something positive happens for her. We are introduced to a new character who Benedict is very fond of, Lady Tilly Arnold. Now, I, as I said in the middle of the reaction, I am doing Patreon exclusive requests for Black Sails. We are on the final season. We have nine episodes left. It is fantastic. And that actress is from Black Sails. She's great in the show. And uh, her character, however, is kind of like conniving. And so I don't know if I'm taking those feelings and implementing them onto Tilly or if Tilly is not trustworthy. Tilly, I feel like she gives me like sketchy vibes. She's uh, very independent, very forward. She doesn't give a about what you think of her, which I really like, but I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like, I don't know, something weird's there. So I, I'm happy for Benedict right now, but I am keeping a slight guard up because I don't know. I don't know if we can trust Tilly yet. We'll have to see. Uh, we find out who the visitor is that came to see Lady Danbury. It is her brother. It is her brother, Lord Marcus. And now, we were not, like, crazy about him coming, and I am curious as to why. I'm, I'm like, thinking back, and I don't think we've ever met her brother. Like, I'm thinking Queen Charlotte. We met Charlotte's brother, but we didn't meet Danbury's, I don't believe. So, this is interesting, because I'm curious to see what Lady Danbury's opinion is. Clearly, it's not the greatest thriving opinion. Um, she also says, like, oh, he can't stay long. Like, so she's trying to kick him out. He clearly is into Violet. Violet is definitely interested in him, and I am super happy for Violet. Violet needs a romance. She really, really does. She's deserving of one. She's trying to find one for everybody else. She needs one. So I hope that this happens, but I also hope that he's not, like, shit. 
because it's kind of giving me that impression that he might be jerky. Eloise is trying to help Cressida out, but she also like doesn't want to impact the situation with Penelope. So she's in a really awkward position. She does go to Penelope, however, in this episode. And uh, they have a little chat. They don't completely mend things. But she does say, you know, I I'm happy for you and I hope that you find what you're looking for. And So baby steps. Baby, 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 baby steps. We are slowly but surely getting there. It's just taking time. It, it was a lot. It was a lot of information to find out that Eloise had to find out um, about the betrayal and about being Lady Whistled Down. And it was her best friend they told everything to. So it was a lot. So within time, I am fa I, I am faithful that, uh, that they're going to be okay, but just not yet. Allison Will, like, really falling into this lifestyle, having fun, but then... When he's at the bar, he gets invited to the hunt he's super excited about, and he gets to the bar, and he's pouring drinks, and the one guy's like, dude, you can't be doing this. Like, we are high society. You are high society. You do not pour the drinks. You do not work. Are you crazy? And he's like, I want to work, though. I like... I like my bar. I like pouring the drinks. So this is going to be interesting because are they willing to let go of their old life for the riches that they are afforded? Are they even allowed to? I, like, are they allowed to do that? I don't know. I have a feeling that Will is going to go on this hunt and be like, these people suck. I hate this life. I don't want it. But they're, they're again, they're kind of forced into it. No? I feel like they're, they kind of are. So... Overall, great episode. I cannot wait to see what happens next. We have one more, one more episode until the next reaction. So long, everyone. Try and make someone smile today. You never know when they might need it next. Bye.